and welcome or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that's everything we do here. Also, don't forget to like this video because it not only helps with the algorithm, but it lets me know that you like what we're doing over here. And, just a quick announcement, we are steadily on our way to 800 subscribers. Once we get there, we're going to be doing a super cool, super awesome live art stream. So, um, it's just a way for me to give back to you guys. I'll be drawing your OCs, your Final Fantasy XIV characters, etc. Uh, we just need to reach 800 first. We are under 50 subscribers away, which is very exciting to say. I don't want to jinx anything, but I think we're going to hit it sooner rather than later so uh yeah thank you guys for being so awesome and continuing to chill and hang out with me thank you you didn't have to come with me but you did and for that i am grateful i told the others of our encounter with the disguised soldiers though we disposed of the bodies it is only a matter of time before their comrades note their absence as if we needed any more reason to act quickly are you sure you're all right, by the way? You've been awfully quiet since we returned. Just, you know, one of those things. This whole crazy thing. I tell you to rest and leave the rest to the others, but seeing as this, that isn't in your nature. Lise returned about a moment ago, looking a bit worried. It would seem that trouble is afoot in the way. You may as well go and ask her about it. As for me, I will not impose upon you any further. You've barely got enough armor as it is, huh? Oh, you're here to help. That's a relief. I've been trying to help the villagers in Namai get ready for the operation, but we've run into a few problems. You remember how we're supposed to stir up trouble as a diversion, right? Well, the thing is, we don't have enough armor to go around. I thought the Dome and Liberation Front would be able to furnish us with some, but it seems that's not the case. I was about to go and tell say, Why don't you come too? Oh, you're here too. I heard about those soldiers you and Alizé encountered. I'm glad you're all right. <clears throat> right then. You say, we have gathered up all the rope we can find in the village. And every tool with an edge, but it is still not enough. Even a hoe would suffice, but there are no more to spare. Thank you, Chigusa. Ryozen could use a hand if there is nothing else. As for more tools, I may have some in my home. Go and search it. Take whatever meets your needs. I made enough rice balls for everyone, including some special ones for Lady Yugiri. Can I go and give them to her? You... you silly little girl. Of course you can. Hurry. You never know when she'll have to leave on a secret mission. <laughs> Yugiri. Sorry about that. Everyone's been trying to contribute since Lord He had returned. There's so much to worry about. You're doing well, Ize. Though I have to ask, have you had any luck finding more armor? Unfortunately, no. Unlike weapons, there are no substitutes for proper protection. It's not as though we need full suits of Imperial plate, but we're not soldiers. If we attack without any equipment, we'll be slaughtered. The Dome and Liberation Front doesn't have any armor to spare. I suppose we could ask Hancock, but there's no telling how long it would take for him to send us supplies. Do you have an armorer in the village, or anyone with some skill to fashion armor? There is one man, a craftsman who fled the Enclave. He is experienced and may be able to help. I don't know if I can persuade him to, though. But maybe you two could come with me? His name is Suronuki, and he lives in Kusakari in the south. Come with me. Bahaha! Who are these starry-eyed youths who stand before me? Ones who sing of rebellion? Of liberation? Ha ha ha! Surely they would not think to trouble me with such foolish dreams. Oh, go and say what you will, but do not take offense if I die from laughter. Bahaha! -ha -ha. Oh, seems like a real nice guy. Hey, say again? You would have me fashion armor for villagers who wish to find Imperial regulars. 
Mad fools charging boldly to meet their deaths. Bring me steel and I shall give them shells to shield their soft bellies. Yes, yes, plates of steel, all that you can carry. The better to shield them from blade and bullet. If only it were so simple, Master Suranuki. Steel plates are not so easily p procured. Blind, deaf, and dumb you are, boy. We are awash in broken steel. Imagine tech. Great cylinders come crashing to the earth from on high. Well? Shatter them to bits with my explosives. They will not fail you, for I made them to kill Imperials. <laughs> Bring me my steel and you will have your armor. Well, it's not like we know any other armorers who can help. At least we get to blow things up. <laughs> She's always looking on the positive side of things. Ha <laughs> And you are committed to your cause. Dressing villagers as soldiers and marching off to war. Stupid, stupid fools. Doma is dead and so are her people. Lord Kyan, Lord Hien, all dead. Their blood is on our hands. She's like, I'm actually. Twas Lord Kyan who saved us, who spared us the worst when the Garleans came. Every shred of pride and honor he cast aside without a second thought, all to win their trust, all to serve as their puppet, restored to his throne years later, a paper tiger. Such name, such shame he must have felt. But no matter, he would suffer it for his people. A life, a life of slaves is better than none at all, he believed, but not us. After my lady died, we began to whisper in his ears dreams of freedom and liberation. We pushed him to take action, if only a little. Ten years of preparation, of machinations. So careful we would be, and yet, and yet. Doba burned for our foolishness, not for that of Lord Kyan. Monzen, the Enclave, they were raised for our sins. We murdered them all, don't you see? We murdered you all. You're wrong, Master. We are still here. We are still alive. Lord Kyan too lives on. In our hearts and in his son, for Lord Hien has returned. Lord Hien? Alive? He cannot be. You lie. You lie. It's the truth. Hien came back to Doma to help her fight for freedom. Could. Could it be? My lord he and yet lives? Oh. Oh. Bands of steel to bind the chest and belly. Yes, yes. I must heat the forge and begin work at once. Ten? One hundred? How many do you need? All that and more you shall have. Oh. The good news, the lord has come. Even after twenty-five years of oppression, they still have it in them to stand up and fight. We just have to show them the way forward. Issei and I will stay and help soon Suranuki, Suranuki finish the armor, so you've no need to wait around. Why not go back to the House of the Fierce? I'm sure there's plenty of work left to be done. Ask about and see what you can find. Mm -hmm. Help? Oh, no, no, no. I will not impose upon you without cause. Rest assured that everything is in its place, and every place is in... Everything is fine. That was not very convincing. I require no assistance, comrade. Lord Hien's instructions to me were quite clear. I need only transcribe them for the benefit of our Zela allies. Speaking of Lord Hien, if you are eager to be of service, mayhap you could seek him out. Keep an eye on him, perchance, should he decide to venture outside. So what? Nobody wants my help. Everything is in order, miss. 
Under Lord Gosetsu's sage tutelage, we grow stronger by the day. Hmm, let me guess. Someone asked you to act as my protector. <laughs> to hear them mutter, one would think I intended to stride up to the castle gates on my own. The truth, of course, is rather less dramatic. I had hoped to look on the castle one last time before the battle. Would you care to join me? You would be setting a lot of fretful minds at rest. Very good. Then let us depart from Mamzen at once. <laughs> no sentries, at least of the living sort. Those shambling seats of armor have the run of the place. To think this was once a bustling street so full of life, a river of people with a current all its own. But even then the Imperials walked among us, sometimes openly, sometimes discreetly, but we were always aware of their presence, and we, we were complicit. He did what he had to do to preserve the peace, to keep our people safe. But at what cost? Uh, forgive me. This is neither the time nor the place for such dark musings. Though they did serve to remind me of the barracks which once stood to the west of here, where there may yet be weapons our comrades could use. If you head down that street, past those makeshift barricades, you will come to the ruins. I will search elsewhere. Meet me at the water's edge when you have finished. Still sheathed in its scabbard, though even shielded from the elements, it will need to be cleaned and oiled. I recognize the crest. It belonged to the son of a samurai I trained with when I was young. He never, never even had the chance to draw it. Ha. There she is, Doma Castle, my home. They let us keep her for a time, before gradually moving their forces across from Fluminus. Now her every court and corridor belongs to Yotsuyu. Though father spent much of his time there, I did not. I may only have visited here there on half a dozen occasions, if that. I cannot remember. But I remember the view from the keep. Doma seemed much smaller from there, like you could hold it in your hands. Well, Monzen at least. Doma is so much more than that. There, beyond the moon gates, unto the shores of the Ruby Sea, and here, in the places that no man can see or touch or take from you. We carry her with us, wheresoever we go. Not the land or the soil, but the story. And what is life, if not a story? The story of our journey from dawn to dusk, day after day after day. The story of our mothers and our fathers, our families and our friends, our people and our nations. I think a part of me understood that when I looked out from the keep. Hien, son of Kayan, another caretaker of the story of Nova. It's a fine castle, truly, with an even finer view. But in the end... In... in the end... Kami, strike me down. How could I be so blind? We must return to the House of the Fierce at once. <laughs> I have had what can only be described as a revelation. Ours is an excellent plan, but not so excellent that it cannot be improved. And I know how. On second thought, Burr, I ask that you return to the House of the Fierce without me and tell Alphino to call the others together for a meeting. It is imperative that the cogent emissary be in attendance as well. I shall, enjoy I shall join you, Anon. Lord Hien wishes to discuss the details of our plan. Very well, if he insists, I shall summon the others at once. As for the Kojin, I believe one of their emissaries was already en route. Nevertheless, I shall contact them to make certain. What's going on? May I present the Blue Cogent's Emissary. <laughs> Greetings and well met, old friends. The Elder sends his regards. Soroban, it's good to have you with us. If, uh, you might humor me. Thank you for coming, Sorba. Doubtless you have already been informed of our plans and the role we would have your people play. 
However, I seek your counsel as a Kojin of the Blue. Be it by spell or siegecraft, could your forces destroy the underwater foundations of Doma Castle's outer wall? Hmm, explosives coupled with a few incantations. Yes, that might produce sufficient force. Such a thing could indeed be done. Then I wish to revise the plan. Instead of assisting the Confederacy in securing the Enclave, I would have the Kojin advance upstream beneath the water and breach a segment of the outer wall. I mean to flood Dorma Castle. My lord, the castle is a sacred symbol, the very heart of our nation. To destroy it is unthinkable, unconscionable. You cannot do this. I can and I will if it improves our chances. By flooding the castle, we remove the better part of their forces from the field and force Yotsuyu to retreat to the highest levels of the keep. Tell me that is not a worthwhile trade. But my lord, that castle was entrusted to you by your father, and his father before him. I say to you again, it is the heart of our nation. Stone walls do not a nation make, my friend. Her people do. And as long as we yet live, we can rebuild. So let us only think of this battle, of victory here and now. For without that, we have no future. I see that you are resolved, Lord Hian, and I would not presume to gainsay your decision. I will inform the Elder of your revised stratagem, and instruct our sappers to make ready. Our preparations are all but complete. Once we receive word from our Kojin allies, we shall set our plans in motion. We shall fight. And we shall prevail. What a dastardly development this is. There's nothing else I'll head back to Namai. Suranuki is Suranuki's working hard and you say he's doing what he can to help, but maybe there's more that I can do too. He was like a different person when he began hammering those plates. Younger, brighter, full of hope and life. No plan is perfect and there is ever room for improvement. I expect my comrades will be refining their reproach. Reproach and approach. Reproach. They will be refining their approach until the moment they begin. In case you are unaware, the other Jonin will lead the assault on the moon, gate, on the moon gates. Don't I? My place is at Lord Hien's side. Soroban informs me that his sappers will be ready within the day, which means that we can proceed as planned and attack Domar Castle tomorrow. Considering the key role you will play, I think it only prudent that you refrain from further labors and rest until tomorrow. Agreed? <laughs> me? Get to rest? We shall speak again in the morning. Take care, my friend. Eight to fall. You're awake. I was just, um, well, they threw me out, actually. Told me I needed to get some sleep. Ready for the big day. Not long now, eh? I'm nervous, of course, but I also feel like like I didn't know where I was going, but maybe, finally, something's gonna change, you know? Really, really change. And when the dust has settled, we'll see what we've won, and what we've lost. I'm going to give it my all tomorrow. 
Everything I've seen and felt, I won't let it be for nothing. Right, off to bed. Don't want to overdo it, and neither should you. Oh, but before you sleep, you should look in on Elfino and Alize. Quietly, of course. Go peeking at the kiddos. Oh no. <laughs> it's so cute. Ha! Another restless soul. Come, come. Raise a glass to freedom. Hmm. Good. Good. I should be interested to know her thoughts on the matter. Ah, uh, that's enough, Gosetsu. You'll not convince anyone with your drunken ramblings. We've talked about this, all of us. We are flooding the castle tomorrow, and that's the end of it. I know, I know. I accepted your decision, and I do not intend to go back on my word. Nevertheless, as the battle draws near, I cannot help but recall our many travails, and it fair compels me to speak. In all my time serving as a leader of men, there are two failures which haunt me to this day. The first, our defeat at the hands of the Empire 25 years past, and the subsequent imprisonment of your father. Long did I consider offering up my life in atonement, until Lord Kyan allowed at last to receive visitors called for me, of all people, for my unborn child, he said. For my dearest Shun, live. My second failure, of course, was the betrayal of that selfsame command. When in the rebellion I failed to protect not only Lord Kayan, but Lord Hien too. That I yet live. Having known such disgrace is an affront to the Kami themselves. Yet you, all of you, so fit to grant this shameful creature, this failure, another chance. To serve a greater purpose. Oh, now he's gonna cry. And also, he had his throw in the back. You gotta slow down. <laughs> These guys aren't gonna feel ready for war, are they? Oh. Thank you <laughs> for pitying an old fool. Don't go, Setsu. Now, now, it is far too soon for that. Save your tears for the morrow. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or despair. Ah, even that sounds morose. We who yet walk the path should not think too much on the destination. When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open arms. Is right about one thing, though. We have you and yours to thank for this chance. All debts will be repaid. On that you have my word. But first we must live past tomorrow, no? If you've no intention of sleeping, you giddy, you may as well join us.
Forgive me, my lord. I did not mean to. Uh, if that is your will. She's not very good. She gets caught in a lot. Hey all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.